Hi, hi guys, good morning. So I'm with Nicole here, the amazing stylist that um, we're getting to play and do some makeup today. So it's gonna be just a quick little tutorial on a really fun spring look with a pop of color. So very clean skin, minimal on the eye, um, and this amazing coral red that's just gonna complement her look. And she's actually off to a photo shoot later today. So it's gonna photograph incredibly well. So we're gonna just, Take it as it goes. We're gonna talk. We'll, yeah, yeah. we'll do it as is. Any questions you have, Nicole, just go ahead and ask. Okay. All right, guys, so this is my before. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just prepping the skin with just some moisturizer. Um, this is actually one of my favorites right now. You really can't find it anywhere here in the States because it's actually from Greece. Mm. It's from a company called Pharmacept and it's all natural um, pure ingredients, no chemicals added. Super hydrating, uh, pretty amazing, and um, I'm almost out. <laughs> Can I see it? Yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, The company is called Pharmacept, but the actual moisturizer is called Claria. There you go. 24 hour hydration. Feels pretty really amazing. good. Yeah. So um, we're gonna then prep the skin with a little bit of. I should turn off some music. Oh, yeah. Just can you go? Just we got some it? morning vibes going on. We got, yeah, we, we got, got morning vibes. We should turn it off so you can actually like hear everything, because what she's saying is actually really important. Oh, my skin does really feel dewy. Oh, I got a little something. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Now we're gonna go with the Becca um, backlight priming filter. I love this product. Just uh, a little bit, just like one or two pumps. And then you're going to take a flat foundation brush. I'm using the Tom Ford. And then you're just going to apply, start in the center of the face, not the nose. Why the do you cheek. Do that? Well, because if you put too much product directly on the nose, then your nose is going to be really shiny. Mm. So you always want to start where the cheek, the center part of the face is, and then just blend it out, whatever's left on the brush. Mm. Then you go on to the nose. Oh, interesting. And then up to the forehead. Okay. Now, Nicole has fair skin and she has a lot of red in her skin, a lot of pink. So, look that way. So, we're not gonna, we're gonna choose a foundation. We're gonna go with uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Light Wonder. She has good skin, it's just red. So this has a nice little yellow undertone to it. It's uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Light Wonder and I'm doing shade three. So just like a pea size amount. Oh, it's water-based, sorry guys. So if you see a little squirt action happening, it's normal. I just got a little excited. I know, <laughs> that word squirt is a little, uh, it takes your mind places. Don't mind me. Um, No worries. And this is the, which is that Charlotte Tilbury what? Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. Okay. In shade three. So you, what you want to do is you just basically want to take like a little pea size amount, just in the back of your hand, and then you take like a nice buffing brush. This is uh, Guerlain's foundation brush. Love it. And you just, again, start from where you started off. See in the center? Look, I'm looking, look over there. And you just buff it. And you see it instantly just settles. Oh, wow. And not a lot. A little bit goes a long way. A lot of people have this misconception that they have to pack on foundation onto the skin when you just, you don't. A little bit will take you a very long way and just the areas you need it. Like it's not going to go all around the rim of her face. It's such a perfect match that you just literally start in the center where you need it. And the Becca thing you put on before, what was that? It's a primer, but it has a backlight primer. So basically it's incredible for photography. It'll oh. just bounce the light off. Okay. And just looks amazing on the skin so it's perfect for the fact that i have a photo shoot exactly would you wear that on the daily though it depends if you really want to have that amazing finish to the skin yeah a lot of women don't but i tend to use it a lot for you know red carpet looks um weddings anywhere where i know you're going to be photographed a lot mm, okay you want to avoid any foundation on the lids you don't want to put foundation on the lids oh it's gonna grease up the eye and plus you want that natural heroine look that your skin naturally gives out you want to buff down whatever's left 
You want to keep the skin just fresh. So it just left like a really even finish. Yeah, damn. Very little. And you saw it was just a little bit. It wasn't a lot. Then you're going to take um, <clears throat> Charlotte Tilbury again. Love these concealers, which I think I'm not 100%. But I think they're being discontinued because she came out with the Magical Way Concealer, which is also amazing. But I just love these, the Retouchers. Uh, and this is in shade one. So I'm just going to add just a little bit in the inner corners. Because again, you don't want to overload with concealer. Okay. So it's going to look very creepy. So you just add in the inner corners a little bit. Because that's where everybody tends to get a lot of discoloration. Mm -hmm. It's normal, whether it's genetic, lack of sleep, whatever it is. And you want to avoid getting too close to the lash line because it's going to close up the eye. Oh, okay. And then you want to put it around the rim of the nose, anywhere where there's just extra redness. You can also do up on your forehead, down by your chin, basically around the T-zone. And then I don't, don't ask me where I got this brush from. I think it's from like an art store. <laughs> yeah. And then I just buff it. You can use your fingers. I'm a huge fan of fingers. Gently tapping it and placing it into place. Never rub because you're just going to move the product. Mm. But by pressing it in, you're allowing it to sit and set better. And then you just buff it. Like really gentle strokes. I mean, I don't know. You can tell. Like I'm not yeah, putting any it, it pressure. It feels like it's barely even touching me. Yeah. Like it, like almost like a... Feathery. Like, yeah. Like it's like almost like baby-like. Yeah. Look up. So you just want to dust this. I'm definitely really violent with my <laughs> application. Like I'm like, near, I'm like, get it on. Aggressive, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I you definitely... know, you're not the only one though. A lot of people that I know that do their makeup, they feel, I guess that it's a misconception. They think that the more pressure you apply, the better the makeup will, you know, get, go into place. But that's the complete opposite. The more pressure you apply, the worse because the makeup is not going to actually spread. It's just going to sit where you initially apply it because you put so much pressure on it. Mm. So you just have to be gentle. Well, I think for me, it's also because um, I'm trying to blend. Yeah. And also, I never want anything to look too heavy. So maybe I'm just trying to blend it more and more, like make sure it doesn't look like... You can blend it, but you see what you feel like. You see what I'm doing? I'm doing a lot of circular strokes. Mm. That helps it like buff. And then you just basically Damn. take the beauty blender, good old beauty blender. It's right. wet by the way, but it's it's nice and moist right now. It's not soaked. I like it wet because it gives more of a dewier finish. You can use a dry beauty blender, but then it'll leave it more of a matte finish. So you're just gonna go over mm. everything and just gently pan it and press it into place. So it's, it's almost like it's setting into your skin. Mm. And you Does, that make it last? Does that make it last longer? I just feel like it gives a better finish really beautiful finish um so i'm using the point obviously for areas that need it the butt the butt for Feels... bigger parts of the face <laughs> turn this way i feel like this is appropriate after my recent jeans post about like oh the ass doing. it's all about the ass good <laughs> ass <laughs> everybody wants to have a good ass and a good pair of jeans i know it's true um this actually feels really good. Right? Yeah, it feels almost like a little massage. Yeah. Look, I'm being spoiled right now. Oh my god. <laughs> my skin looks banging. You didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it. I'm like, this is the beginning, people. God. It's only just begun. Okay, so now I'm going to get into um, the brows. Uh, one of my like new favorite obsessions yeah. is um, it's called Soap Brows. Soap Brows? Yeah. Okay. Love it. Was um, it? it's basically a, like a wax for the eyebrows and all you need is like a little spoolie mm. and a setting spray. So oh. you're just going to, here, this is Wait, it. Let's see this thing. Yeah. What it's is from, this? it's from the UK. It's like oh. a little pomade. Yeah. And it literally looks like something you'd put in your hair. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So you just sp spray it with a little spoolie. Just like that. That's it. And you have just water? Well, that is, um, it's like a hydrating water. You could do it with setting spray. Mm, okay. Again, that's not from here. It's from Greece. Oh, <laughs> she's Greek, as you can tell. Clearly. <laughs> um, and then you just brush up. Now, we do this before you actually put any brow product in. Mm. You want this to just brush up. 
because mm -hmm. you have great brows you don't need you just have like just sparse hairs that we're gonna end up just filling in okay so also you don't want to do it after because then you're just gonna move the product mm, okay so you do it first so it's basically prepping and it just fluffs and it keeps the brows up and in place see i've never really filled it i, I do use um things like that what do you call that um like a, a setting like yeah sing because i like them a little bit like more like pow but I never fill them because I'm always... a really beautiful fluffy brow. Well, we're gonna do so minimal. We're just gonna do the Anastasia. Okay. The the brow dip. Um, <clears throat> very little. It, it just gives it a better, more natural. Anastasia in blonde. So you just pick up very little. This is a shoot or more brush. Hands down, one of my favorite companies that no longer is in the US. I'm so upset. No, they're not. No, Shu Umar, it's the Badger, the six um, OB. Oh. So you just, you just have a few, just gentle strokes. Oh yeah, it's like- Just a few, just a few sparse areas. And we're not going with a super dark color. Yes, your brows are darker than your hair, which is technically what it should be. But had I gone with a darker shade for your brows, then it would have looked really obvious. Mm. But in your case, because you have really great brows, I'm not going too dark. I'm just going a little bit softer just to fill in the gaps. And then that's it. Oh, hello. And then go to the other side. How long have you been doing makeup again? 17 years. How did you start? Huh. I mean, we shouldn't tell that story. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it's, uh, good question. It actually just fell in my lap, literally. I was in school. Uh, I was an uh, elementary education sociology major at Queens College here in New York. And I had a friend at the time that was dating someone that was a cosmetic manager mm. for Stila Cosmetics that was launching in Bloomingdale's on 59th Street. And he said to me, hey, you know, they're looking for some freelance artists. Uh, parentheses, by the way, I just loved art and doing makeup. Not on myself, ironically. Mm. I was very minimal. I would just do like mascara and like a lip, no foundation, none of that ever. Um, but I love doing it on other people. So it just, it felt natural when I ended up going and working as just freelance makeup artist for the company. Mm. And you know, every company trains you and whatnot. And I just ended up loving doing makeup and I met some really amazing people along the way. I really busted my ass for the first like 10 years, doing a lot of things for free, shows, meeting people, networking. And uh, the rest, I guess, was history. That was it. Didn't take much. <laughs> Loved it. Okay. Okay. Now, notice how I haven't done any powder or bronzing or anything. We leave the powder completely last because we want that really nice, natural glow to the skin. Plus, we also want the makeup to just sit and saturate. Everybody has different textures. Everybody's skin has oils in them, which they basically suck in the makeup on it, on its own, and it tends to change throughout the day. So we're going to let it sit, and then in the end, we're just going to add a little powder in the T-zone. Um, so I always start with facial framework, which is brows and then cheek contour or whatnot. I just feel like you have to do the skin. It's like the backdrop before you start adding color. It helps you with placement. So you're gonna look right here. I'm just gonna use her, um, I'm doing eyelash curler, Kevin Kwan. And she's, she's just looking right over my shoulder. And we're gonna crimp. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I tend to count to 10. Okay, in there. To give it a good crimp. You pumped it too. I've never yeah. done that. I usually just squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. I didn't even feel that, by the way. Oh my God, look at my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my. I wear makeup occasionally. This is blowing my mind. <laughs> Not this well, though. The Holy Grail of Contour Obsessed, Tom Ford. Don't mind it, it's a little dirty because I use it a lot. But it's the shade in Illuminate, and it's in shade one. So it's a cream contour, and I'm mm. using the Kevin Kwan uh, brush, uh, the contour brush, actually. It's technically made for powder, but I love using it for cream. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the cream, and then look straight ahead. And I'm going to go right where, so her cheekbone is right here. I'm going to go right under it. But you always want to start from, like, the, the top part of the hairline, and then brush it downwards. Can I turn? Yeah. Show them. 
and then you want to buff it up. This is more aggressive. I would say this is the most like intense I felt you touch me. Yeah. In terms of pressure. Is that because it's a cream? Yeah, and I want to just buff it in really well. And then you take the butt mm -hmm. and just buff out the edge. Okay. Subtle, you don't need much. And then you do the same on the other side. And again, because we're doing a spring look, we're not going to contour. I don't do the baking stuff. I'm not about baking. I don't like that whole trend because I feel like it's just too much saturation of you know, color and product on the skin. The idea is it's a spring look and it's fresh. So we're going to keep the contour to a minimum. <clears throat> this is all the contour we're going to do. I'm not going to do the contouring of the nose and everywhere else. It's just going to be on the cheeks, but then we're going to add like a nice bronzer to buff it out. So can you explain? I kind of know what baking is, but can you so explain So baking is it? basically when you contour your cheeks, uh -huh. and then on the bottom you set it with a, a powder, and you just let it sit and bake, so your skin is basically taking it in, and then you just dust it off in the end. Oh. So it's just more it's aggressive, like structured lines. contour. I mean, you don't see it as lines afterwards, but you do see more of a contour. So it's, it's more it's, obvious. It's sort of like how you see like that intense Instagram makeup kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, there are ways of doing baking where it's not that intense, but... You, you, it can definitely be intense if you're not doing it the right way. Oh, okay. So I'm just buffing this out now. I'd heard the term, but never really do. Yeah. Oh my God, look, I got like a little boop. Like a little glow, yeah. A little, boop. A little pump. I feel like I can't touch my face when I have an itch. Oh, you can itch it. I know, but I don't want to ruin the... the <laughs> I don't want to ruin the beautiful palette. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to do a little bronzer. Okay. Tom Ford. Good old Tom Ford. You can tell I love it. I use it a lot. This is in Terra. So he has two shades. Well, two that I love to use. Uh, Terra is flat with no shimmer. And then Gold Dust has shimmer. So I'm using, again, the Tom Ford brush. This is actually the blush brush, not the bronzer brush. Mm -hmm. But I just like it because it picks up a little bit more and it's more dense. And I can manipulate it better. Look that way. So I'm just going to go right over. Notice how I'm doing circular motions before I even, I even hit the skin. That's only because it's preparing for the actual placement as opposed to me just going like this. Mm. Then that means it's going to sit where I put it. So I'm just... Oh, that's such an interesting detail. What do you think is the number one mistake women make when they're adding color to their face? They're, they're too much pressure. Too much pressure. If people just knew that less is more and, and not having to be so hard on themselves, literally, like on their skin to look that way for me. Um, it's, it's just soft, soft hand, really soft hand. Makes a huge difference. Cause even if you make a mistake while you're doing your makeup, placement, color, whatever, it doesn't matter, you can fix it because you've done it gently. You've done it with a mm. less force. Now I'm just dusting everything. And this is a bronzer? Yeah. And how, so what you were using before was a contour. Contour. It's, it's considered a bronzer too, mm -hmm. but it's a cream contour bronzer. Some I like to use the Tom Ford cream contour in the summer alone mm -hmm. when I have a tan. I just add it as contour and then I just buff it up as a, like my cream bronzer. But for someone like me who doesn't ever tan, that would be something I could, you could use. Yeah, 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 totally. And this is something, this is like a look that I could do, like, not, I don't, I don't know if I'd wear, like, them foundation daily, but, like, everything else, like, if you could do this every day for spring, like, if you had, like, um, an event or well, from so someone now like we're me. Doing, yeah, so this is the thing. This is definitely a really fun spring look, but you're also, keep in mind, going to a photo shoot. Right, right. So it does, obviously, it's a little bit more, there's more steps involved, there's a bit more color and product on you right now because right. you also want to photograph us in a way but for a daily yeah you can literally just use cream products you're in and out the door like right. you can just use the becca primer if you want if you don't want to go with any foundation um just do the primer a little bit of concealer if, if you need some women just don't need especially in the summer uh you can go with the cream contour mm. then you can go with what i'm about to use right now tom um charlotte tilbury's beach sticks which i'm obsessed with oh yeah i think i have oh i love these i love these i love them i love them i have them in all shades i'm gonna use um moon beach on you it's like such a beautiful champagne rose gold mm -hmm. so notice how 
Um, I did do powder, which is considered, the bronzer is considered powder, but you can use these because they have like a powder finish, but with a really healthy glow, you can use these over the powder. So I'm going to pick up with the brush. You could just apply it as is for quick application, mm -hmm. like every day, the way you were saying, like if you don't want to do all this, you just pop pops on the cheek, even on the lips, you just rub it with your finger, you're out the door. Okay. But I'm actually using a brush to pick up, smile, and then you're just gonna pop it on the apple of the cheek. And it has this really beautiful, healthy glow to the skin. Well, hey, oh my God, that's pretty. So pretty, right? Yeah. It's so subtle. Yeah. I mean, you could add more again. Yeah, but still. But more. Yeah, I'm, you know, I like a, it's nice. So then we're gonna go with a Tom Ford Queen shadow. This is, oh, I don't know if they still have this in the line, but this is from a few years ago, but I just love it. It's called Guilt. It's a cream shadow and it's just a, a really beautiful gold <clears throat> close and you're just gonna pop it right onto the lid with the brush and then again you can just take your finger like I said it's gonna be a really soft lid we're not doing anything extreme because we're gonna have a really beautiful pop of color on the lip so we really want the focus to be on the lip Mm. But also, we want the entire look to complement each other. Mm. So you want to start on the center part of the lid, and then just what that's where the majority of the product is going to be placed. You don't want to start from the brow down. Or we start from the lid and just buff it up. Open. It's almost just like a wet sheen. Mm. Oh, wow, that's cool. <clears throat> okay again you start in the center notice how i'm tapping it into place i'm not run it, rubbing it and then feathering it out and then you just dab it with your finger i mean this is these cream shadows whether they be Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, Laura Mercier, any company that has cream anything, mm -hmm. I love because they're just, they're easy. Like you can't go wrong. I call it like idiot proof makeup. You, you know, you just need your finger and, and you're done. Smear it on and yeah. you're out the door. Yeah, yeah. you're out the door. Um, so then we're not going to go with the hard liner because again, it's a fresh, easy look. This is another one of my favorite products that Charlotte Tilbury has. They're called the Color Chameleons. They're cream pencils. They're chubby sticks, so, so you can use them in many different ways. You can manipulate them as a liner or all over the lid as a shadow itself. The thing is that you have to work quickly with them because once they dry, they set and they don't move, which is awesome. Mm. So I'm going to use um, the uh, Amber Haze okay. as a liner. So this isn't going to move, which is great for a shoot or even great for a spring, summer. If you're out and it's hot and you're sweating, it's not going to move. I also use these a lot on weddings. Mm, so they don't that's move. smart, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to tightly into the lash line it's a beautiful golden color oh yeah so wedding season is coming up do you like get slammed yeah i am slammed actually right now i'm slammed till like december so if there's any like spontaneous brides out there do you can you take them if i'm available yes if i'm not unfortunately but, you know, I have clients that reach out from like a year in advance that basically book up. Smart girls. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just basically oh taking God. a very thin brush and I'm going to use it really quickly mm -hmm. and just smudge it and pull a little bit out. Not necessarily creating like a, a cat eye. That's not the look we're going for. No, but you want it elongated. But right? I, I want it elongated, but I also want to diffuse it. I don't want it to just look like a line. Mm. So I want to, like, soften it up. Open. Mm. What is that you're using? Uh, it's a Stila brush. Oh, like a little baby thing. Yeah. 
like a tight little liner. I mean, it's great for gel liners and, and anything that's like in a pot. And then just smudge it. So you almost want the color to look like it's the liners fading into the lid with the rest of the color. You don't want it to, like, you don't want those aggressive lines. <clears throat> so how do you, you know what I've, I've been thinking a lot about is how to keep your look from becoming dated. Because it's really easy to kind of get stuck in the same, like, route. And as you just, like, evolve in life, you kind of do the same thing. And then you sometimes don't look as fresh or interesting in your makeup. What's the, is there a good way to like make sure you don't look like kind of like old or dated or well, like Well, my like thing boring? is with, I mean, look, we, everybody ages. It's inevitable to put a life and I feel like people should just embrace it and just own what they have. I also say if it ain't broke, don't fix. I'm okay. a huge fan of that. Okay. Um, but what I think is super important is um, skincare, mm. hydration. If your skin is hydrated and it's healthy and it's looking plump and dewy and it'll, it, it actually reverses the signs of aging. Like you don't, it doesn't age you. Dry matte skin ages you. So just keep your skin Keep dewy. your skin really dewy and it doesn't matter what kind of makeup you do or what kind of makeup you use. You can use drugstore makeup. It doesn't really matter. Your skin and makeup will always look amazing. And on the topic of drugstore makeup, my hands down favorite mascaras ever. I mean, I've tried them all. And I'm not saying they're not amazing, like the top name brands. But for somebody that is on a budget or can't afford, you know, expensive makeup. Or even like first time makeup artists just starting out there. L'Oreal mascaras, I'm obsessed with. I used to use their Voluminous that was in the gray and gold cap. And now they have this new one, the Lash Paradise. I'm such a mascara whore. Like I get, I get feels, all the feels. I'm not <laughs> joking. I get all the feels from this mascara. And I'm not doing the blackest black on you because you are very fair. You have really beautiful blue eyes and I want them to pop. So I'm doing black brown. Okay. Look down. So we've curled the lashes and we're going to get right into the root and we're going to touch and push. You see what I'm doing back and forth? Up. Yeah. Like I'm getting into the root and I'm pushing back and forth and going up. Now you could blink as I do this doesn't affect the makeup application oh good okay so you can totally blank that's why i have you looking down but you know the strokes are going to be from the root back and forth and pull up and i love this because you can build on this and it look, just gives like amazing lashes oh wow okay i actually need a new mascara so that's exciting to know i'm obsessed and hey costco has them right now three in a pack <laughs> i saw them and clearly i got really psyched <laughs> Yeah, so good. Isn't mascara like one of the things that needs to be replaced the most often? Yeah, like too? every few months, yeah. Because it dries yeah, cause it out. Because it dries out. And, and like... also just be careful how you pump it. You don't want to pump it because if you pump mascara, you're allowing air in, which dries it out quicker. So you basically don't do this. If you want to pick up, just twirl it from the inside. Oh, and the air dries it out, pumping. By pumping it, yeah, you're drying it out. I wonder where that came from. We all probably saw it in a movie or something once. Well, you know. It's also just like a quick, I guess, the way our brain works. I gotta, I gotta go. I'm in a rush. Typical New York. Mm. Always in a rush. No one wants to sit and twirl. Sorry about her elbow, guys. Oh, yeah. We gotta, sorry. We gotta, just, we gotta do it. Gotta get this eye. Gotta get the lashes in. Um, but you can do more than one coat. So I'm gonna I'm basically doing one eye and then I'm gonna go back to the other one and do more on the other one. Pow. Damn. I'm gonna blame the this that damn. That really that is good. And the brush is amazing. It's delicious. It's nice and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these conversations can go in many different directions, so And in they probably will at some point. <laughs> at some point. So get used to it, peeps. <laughs> Yep. And for all of you that know me, that are watching, <laughs> behave yourself in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> or don't. I don't know. <laughs> Keep your comments to yourself. Uh, all right, we got it. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> um. Okay. 
Okay, so this is just a second comb. I mean, I can keep going. Really? Yeah, because it just like... How many it, coats do you like, really? I, listen, again, it depends on what we're going for. Uh-huh. If you do a red carpet, how many coats do you do? It depends what the look is. You know, it's not, makeup isn't just... That's true. It's, it's, it has to go with the complete package. The hair, the makeup, the dress. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all about, like, it's, it's really, it's, it's an important part of the outfitting. Yeah, Which for is sure. Which stylists play, you guys play a huge role in in our job too like i need to know you know what are they wearing what are they doing like what look are they going for and that's that's why makeup can play such an intricate role in your personal like aesthetic if you want to wear makeup yeah. your clothes can be simpler yeah. vice versa yeah. your dailies yep that's why i love a lip when i'm a boring everywhere else i love a lip because i'm just like all right i got ready today <laughs> So I'm not going to put on the bottom lashes. Okay. I want to just keep the flutter up. Plus, I don't want anything going on in the bottom. Yeah. So we've done the contour. We've done the bronzer. We've done a little bit of the cheek. Now I'm going to do oh very God, soft, so a little pretty. bit of blush. And I'm using Charlotte's. It's called um, First Love. Really beautiful, soft, neutral color. Again, the reason I'm using these colors on um, Nicole is because she tends to have a lot of redness in her skin. Mm. So naturally throughout the day, it may just come out. So I don't want to add anything peachy or red because mm. it's going to be too much. So I'm using something a little bit more in um, the neutral tones. Oh, I never really knew that. Yeah. And I'm just going to dust it right onto the cheek. Again, small strokes. And this is Charlotte's brush. It's powder and sculpt brush, but I love to use it also for soft strokes of, of blush. And I'm just dusting it just right where the apple of the cheek is and up. And then I'm going to finish it off with um, Guerlain. This is an amazing terracotta, like shimmer powder. So it does have some bronziness to it, but it has this insane glow. Yeah. Yeah. So just give it a twirl. And I'm just going to literally circle the entire cheek area. I'm not going to want to wash my face tonight. <laughs> well, you got to go out afterwards. Oh, I totally am. I already made plans. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is too much. This is too good to go to the gym, okay? <laughs> go to waste. So, yeah. So, uh, when she did, a, she did a smoky eye for me, like, back when I, I met her when I worked at Net-A-Porte, like, ages ago. And when she did the smoky eye for me, I literally, I had already pre-committed to a yoga class. I went to the class, and then afterwards, like, dabbed around and, like, basically, like, made sure I basically didn't try anything in the class <laughs> because I didn't want to, like, sweat too much. Cause I, and I was like, I just wanted to keep the eye. True story. <laughs> True story. I You're was so like, funny. I was like, I don't really care. I'm just gonna like not do skincare right now and just <laughs> keep the make. I was obsessed. So right now, guys, I'm using the Hourglass setting powder, which uh, this uh, is. Oh, that looks good. It's like a veil on the skin. It's really beautiful. Yeah. So sorry, I'm not okay. using a big powder brush. I'm using a very, it's basically an eyeshadow blending brush, but I'm just picking up just enough of what I need and I'm adding it in just the areas that you need, which is basically the T-zone, which is your mm. forehead around the nose area, okay. the chin, because we want that glow everywhere else. We're not taking away the glow. Very little under here, just in the inner corners, not around the edges, because again, we don't want that drying up. So just the inner corners. Just the inner corners, the forehead. And that's it. Ooh. And now we're gonna get into the lip. I just licked my lips too. I feel bad. Okay. So. Oh my god, I love it. It's gonna be a really gorgeous pop lip. I can't wait. I'm psyched. Problem is, I don't know what color it is. <laughs> <laughs> Only because. I mean, I know it's Charlotte Tilbury, so props to Charlotte because her lips are amazing. Oh, this but is hilarious. The thing is, I, they're just so many that I have to pop them out. So I've popped them out and I've put them in a lip palette. But I can <laughs> almost guarantee that it's going to be a mix of like Hot Emily and Red Carpet Red. Okay. Okay. So for all y'all Charlotte lovers that know her lips, <laughs> Hot Emily, Red Carpet Red, it's a little bit of a mix. And I'm going with the Kevin Aquan Cerise uh, lip liner. It's such a gorgeous red. 
Why do we use lip liners? <clears throat> so the lip liner is going to give you that pout that you keep telling me. I don't like going red because it makes my lip look small. Yeah, I feel like my upper lip like gets lost. I, I actually really like my lips. I, shouldn't, I don't think they're like like something wrong with them. But when I take pictures and I've seen them in with color because I love wearing color on my lip. They get, I feel like they get really skinny and like gone. No. So this is what liner does. Liner basically fills out the pout of the mouth and it just creates a really beautiful structure to the lip. A lot of times people put lipstick on and it doesn't, it's uneven, it's just bumpy, it's not. The liner is basically a tracer and it keeps it in place. Do you have one on the, yourself? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So close, you always wanna do it with closed with your mouth closed because if you're if you we tend to make you know expressions when you put lip liner on mm. it's not necessary this is how your mouth is normal so we just keep it closed and then i sketch it again everything is a sketching motion i don't know if you've noticed even from the shadows to the powders mm -hmm. everything is a sketching motion so and a red lip guys especially the application of a red lip it's not the easiest thing because it's it's color and you know it, it, it needs a lot of precision whereas if it's a neutral lip it doesn't matter you can get away with it not being that even because you can't really see the lines but red or burgundy or you know those really beautiful like current black current colors So I'm tracing your lip, but going a little over where your pout is. This is a moment of silence. It always gets quiet when a red lip is being put on. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> No, you're gorgeous. You're good. You're done. Oh my God. This is the look. Uh, it's like 1990s too in here. And I'm going to put some white lipstick in the middle. Oh my God. Remember? Mm hmm. So I'm also sketching it a little bit in, inwards. And then we start from the center at the bottom. This would have been good if it was a live video and there were any questions mm. we would have been able to answer them right now in the moment of silence but it's okay we'll have more coming um this is i guess a good way of introducing you me the co collaboration we'll be working together a lot mm -hmm. you're gonna see my face a lot now mm -hmm. But, you know, any ideas you guys have? Any looks? Look here. Yeah, anything you want to know. Anything you want to know. Anything you want to learn. Any other, you know, okay. questions you have. If you guys want another tutorial, let us know of what. And we'll do it. And if, you, if it's different skin tone you're looking for, different texture, different age group, whatever, we'll, we'll try and manage to get. Yeah, we'll find people. Find people. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. And like, we even like, if it, how, how do you compare your makeup to your outfits? Like, whatever, yeah. And if you need somebody, you know, you gotta DM her so you can get in before <laughs> she's <laughs> next 2020 weddings. I already have a few 2020 weddings. I was gonna say, joking. I was like, that's probably already. <clears throat> it's just a good thing. I'm lucky. Yeah. Close? Like the precision is so important with a red lip. You can't just slap it on. Especially if you're doing a liner, you know, there are some women that are just, they're, you know, they know their lips, they're really good and they just have their go-to and they put it on and it's perfection. They can do it with their eyes closed, not, you know, major props. 
Um, but if you want to accentuate your pout, if you want to change it up a bit, especially when it comes to color, it needs to have a bit more, you know, attention. Some you need to pay a bit more attention to it. And then I just take my finger and I tap it a bit so it's not too moist, mm. so it doesn't bleed. Mm. I just pat it down. Okay. I'm bringing your brush. Oh. Mm. I feel so glamorous. I really. Oh my gosh. And you're done. I'm done? Yeah. Oh! Let's just add a little finishing spray. So oh my God, it looks so cute. The day and it lasts on the shoe. Can I take down my hair? Yeah, yeah, girl, take down your hair. Feel it. Feel yourself. Feel myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey! Oh my God. I'm so glad I made plans. Oh my you God. Like spritz? Okay. This is just, um, which I'm running out of. And thank God the makeup show is coming up. Skin to, uh, Skindinavia, the makeup finishing spray. It's an amazing, it sets the makeup. And that just kind of like keeps it on all day. It keeps it on, of... it sets it, it doesn't, you know, it lets it stay in place. It won't move. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry if... Um... We're trying. We're, yeah. Hi. So, yeah, she's amazing, as you can see. I'm so excited. And... um. Uh, yeah, just stay in touch and like DM her if you need her. She will. What do you do? With everything? What, what do you focus on? Everything? I, I focus on everything. Whatever. Any questions you guys have? Anything specific you want to look into, or you want us to do another tutorial, or just another, or maybe a live? Let us know. Yeah, and if you need, if you need, like I don't know, she does events, like photo shoots, like oh, she'll teach you how to do this to yourself at your house. So yeah. Oh She's yeah. Amazing. Yeah, too. she does that too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, bye. Bye guys.